This week, we received our first announcement regarding the release of F1 Manager 2024. As expected, the game will be released in the summer, although an exact date hasn't been confirmed. With the original game releasing at the end of August and last year's game releasing at the end of July, we can assume with some certainty that July will probably be the earliest that we see the release. However, the big news that we received from Frontier was that Creator Team will be coming to the 2024 version of the game. The mode will see players create their own team to join the grid to change the officially licensed teams already in the game. Per the announcement, uh, players will be able to customise every part of their team from car setup to livery, logo and race suit design. I personally feel like adding race setups to the customization option is a bit of a weird addition um, as obviously one of the major parts of the game is finding the right setup for your drivers during the race weekend. Uh, this could mean that they're, they're introducing a new race setup system as part of the gameplay um, but realistically I think it's a bit of an empty statement to appear like there's more new features in the game uh, to try and appeal to new players but we'll have to keep an eye out with more announcements close to the time of the reveal of the game. Uh, what other changes are made to the actual uh, gameplay as obviously this announcement is mainly about the customization of the cars the liveries uh, the races the new livery editor is something that personally I'm going to be really interested in as this could be a big make or break moment for this game um, we have the ability to create liveries in the regular F1 game since the introduction of the my team game mode there but the liveries have been boring and generic with different designs stuck behind the podium pass uh, PC players have obviously been able to get around this by using mods and using the, uh, getting nice looking liveries uh, in the game through that way. Um, so I really hope that F1 Manager will have taken a route of giving people a bit more freedom over livery designs. Um, designing liveries is a big part of other racing games like Gran Turismo and having a similar livery editor in F1 Manager would really add to players being able to make their own team. Um, unfortunately, I have a suspicion that it's actually going to be quite basic and it's going to be generic shapes. Uh, the pre-made onto the car that it'll really just be changing colors and design patterns um, rather than actually having complete freedom of the cars themselves and the main thing that kind of fuels that suspicion is the the livery logo and race route editor uh, those three things are the exact three things that are in the regular f1 games that you can customize so although it's different developers they might have a different way of doing it I think it might look very similar on how they implement it into the game as it's something that's already been done uh, also with being an official Formula 1 game um, they'll probably have licensing issues which is uh, for what can be on the cars and I think this will have an impact on the sponsors you can put on the cars um, and it won't be a complete freedom obviously <laughs> um, but I imagine it'll be from a pool of fictitious sponsors uh, as we can see in the trailer there is a little uh, screenshot of of a sponsor and uh, like their meter of meeting their demands um, so I think it will be a small pool of these uh, not real sponsors that you'll have to sign with that you can then whether they'll be pre-placed on the livery like in the F1 games I don't know hopefully it'll be complete freedom to put the sponsor wherever you want but I think it'll be a pretty populated place on the car so front wing rear wing that sort of thing um, but again, we'll have to wait and see. I'm sure they'll definitely bring out more details before the game releases on especially the livery editor to probably help people get more excited for the game. The new game will also feature a new mentality system for drivers and staff, which will give an extra thing for you to manage throughout the season. Uh, the new feature will give each member of staff individual personalities and demands that will affect the decisions that you make in the game. Um, again, as this reveal was mainly about the customization we don't know much about this mentality system at the moment but i imagine it will be that you'll probably have a pop-up dilemma where uh, a driver will be like they want you to um develop the car in a certain area it might be uh, they want the front wing developing um and you have to choose whether you want to maybe abandon what you're already working on or put that aside to do this for this driver to keep them happy and Doing so will, will make them happier and help with the performance and going against it will uh, make them unhappy. It might make them harder to negotiate with next time or uh, it might affect how they perform on a race weekend. But again, we don't have a lot of information. That is just speculation from me on how I would make a system like that work. Frontier are also advertising an improvement to the AI, which should bring closer racing and a constant threat of the AI being able to make more moves to close up the gap to the player once they've... Uh, got an improved car and the AI being able to poach players and drivers as well from the player. I'm um, always going to welcome improvements to AI 
in a game, um, especially as in a management game like this, the AI is very important to the longevity of the game and keeping it interesting. Um, but we'll have to wait and see as this game has, once you get to a certain point, you do kind of have to make your own difficulty by signing worse drivers and everything. But again, we'll have to wait and see until the AI or the new AI is playable so we can see exactly what's uh, going on. But hopefully it will be a welcome improvement that will help the game uh, push itself a bit further and uh, have a lot more longevity instead of having to start a new save all the time. We have also seen from the trailer that they're implementing some new car faults that can happen during any session during the race weekend. Uh, some are being t uh, temporary, some look a lot more. That will be the thing that puts you out of the race. Um, again, it's just a screenshot of the actual message that's coming up, which will happen during a session. Personally, for me, I'd like to see a bit more freedom in the faults. So it's not a case of a fault happens, you're retired from the race, that's it. Especially with these temporary ones, it could be quite interesting if they were able to implement a system where you get a warning message saying you have this fault and it might say you're going to have reduced power for five laps and then there's a 60% chance the car will be able to carry on, there's a 40% chance you'll have to retire or even a case of you are given the option like here's a fault, you can retire the car now or you can risk it and carry on but with carrying on there's either a, a chance that the part completely fails and you can't use it again or by doing that there's like double the wear on that an engine part or, or something that instead of just being told by the game you have to retire that you actually get to make the decision and there's a risk and reward situation on the faults in the car as would be in real life that when the the pit will see the the data from the car they have to make a decision if it's worth keeping the car out or not it'd be good to have that in the game Again, we only have screenshots of the messages popping up, not how this is going to work in the game. So again, that's something that I would like to see in the game. But whether we'll get that is is yet to be seen and we'll have to wait for, for the reveal of the game. Even though it's only a short announcement with not much detail, um, I think the addition of creative team mode is a very promising one and shows that Frontier are actually listening to the players of the game and taking on board what the players want to see. Although there's still plenty of other things that players would like in the game like a multiplayer mode or the ability to have a run a team in f3 and work your way up into f2 into f1 um i see them as more long-term things that we'll probably get and obviously as a game developer you want to make sure you have stuff in the background to keep working on to get players to buy your next game so you can have more features to bring out that people are going to want but i think at least they're showing that creates team is something that the community wants and they've worked on that implementing into the game rather than just making minor adjustments each year or completely ignoring that and just <laughs> doing say small cosmetic details as we see in the regular f1 games my team mode has been quite static for quite a few years now with not many new features bringing in as they want to focus on the game modes that allow them to push microtransactions onto players thankfully there's nothing of that in f1 manager and hopefully because of that well, they'll actually keep developing and working on a deeper career mode that everyone can enjoy um for me personally i'll probably be waiting for a bit more details to come out about this game uh before deciding if i'm definitely going to get it on release i want to see a bit more of the creative team mode to see how deep the mode is um how like what details can actually be changed and how good the livery edit is going to be that sort of thing um but i think it's definitely promising uh, from the developers what they're doing and working in that direction uh, in the direction they are so it should be another good game again it's got a solid base to work on and as long as they keep bringing improvements every year i think there's definitely a chance that this um can become sort of like a a football manager obviously it's the same sort of game but it could get to that heights of being that level of game of if as long as they keep working on the game and making everything behind deeper so there's so much more to work on and to keep the game challenging um so are you looking forward to f1 manager 24 uh, what other new features would you like to see in the game uh, let us know in the comments below and for more gaming videos and news be sure to like the video subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell and we'll see you in the next video